Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've got a little short video here on integrating uh, WSJTX with AC Log. It's real simple. And uh, previously I posted uh, WSJTX FT8 the easy way. And this is just a little add on to that instead of exporting or importing the ADIF log from WSJTX into your logging program like AC Log. Uh, AC Log will just read it right from WSJTX, but first we have to set it up. Now for this video I'm just using one cable and I have uh, WSJTX set up. It's using uh, a configuration for my Elecraft K3S on COM3. That's the uh, the cable going from the radio to the computer and that's for rig control. So let's go into settings and I'll show you what it looks like. I always start WSJTX first because I have my rig also set up in AC log and uh, what I do is go into the settings and this is you just need to do this one time. We'll go to the radio, set up your radio, uh, the rig that you have, and then the COM port that you're using, and make sure you get the right baud rate. And uh, push to talk is cat. Uh, mode is data packet the rear. If that doesn't work, choose none. Uh, split operation, I've always been using fake it. And then hit uh, test cat, and uh, it should turn green. Hit test push to talk, and it should key your radio. Then uh, let's go over to the audio tab and uh, the sound card input and output is the USB audio codec for uh, your transceiver. And uh, then we're going to go over to the reporting tab. And you'll notice I don't have anything checked off in here. And for the purposes of uh, AC log, uh, amateur contact log, um, you don't need to do anything. It, it'll read it without any of this checked off. So I, I didn't check anything off. It doesn't hurt to go ahead and check these off for other programs if you'll be using them later. But anyway, I've just got enable PSK reporter spotting. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So that's WSJTX, and I've been running this, making a lot of contacts with it. And, uh, of course, it saves it to its own log file within uh, WSJTX. And then let's bring up uh, AC log. You know, when I bring up AC log, I get this error because you can only have one program using the interface at a time. And I've got WSJTX using the interface. So uh, I get this error message, but that's okay. I just click click OK. Now, uh, if I were to able, if I wanted to go and operate on sideman, I'd just uh, shut down uh, WSJTX and I'd be able to go here and uh, AC log would read the radio, what frequency I'm on, what mode I'm on, and so forth. And I could use AC log for logging single sideband contacts or CW contacts or whatever. Uh, but right now I'm not connected to the radio and that's okay. We'll, we'll go over to settings. I'll show you how this program reads it from WSJTX. But just uh, the application program interface, select it. And I've got this enabled, and you don't necessarily have to have this enabled. I was using it for another program. Uh, but go ahead and check it off, and check off Listen for WSJTX, and you can see that it's receiving messages. And uh, nothing down here needs to be checked off. And I'll just click Done. Uh, and then I just uh, minimize this and operate uh, WSJTX. And let's see, uh, there's somebody... Uh, uh, there's a NH6JC. Let's uh, give him a call. Oh, okay, here we go. I've got a contact with K7IOC. And I just want to show you when I log this contact, it will go right into AC log, and there's no need to import that log file. And if you're wondering at uh, K3, uh, on the little uh, webcam that's uh oh there we go we got a couple of stations 
I'm just watching the ALC on the meter and I'm putting out uh, showing 40 watts on an external uh, watt meter and I'm using a uh, let's see what am I using right now I'm on the beam and it's pointing west let's see here Roger Roger 73 and I get it uh, let's change that to 40 watts and got the signal report I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and let's go back to K7 IOC we can go over and look at amateur contact log and you can see that it, it logged it it didn't have to do anything I just uh, with AC log I just don't have uh, my rig control hooked up I get that error message when I uh, open up AC log and I have WSJTX already open but it puts in the band the frequency uh, the report in there it's also pulling up oh, there it is uh, there it is click that and we get K7IOC log and it put his name in there put everything in there and that's another thing I'm going to show you on AC log to make it a little bit nicer let's see do we have another one yeah KD9 Sierra Zulu Alpha we'll double click on that one and I'm sending him a report let me show you in the settings here file settings over on the general tab I've got uh, double click on the call sets transit transmit enabled got that set that's why uh, it's working that way I have other videos on WSJTX it goes through all the settings if you want to take a look at it there we go got a Roger from him I'll send a Roger 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 back and if you're wondering about this uh, Elecraft K3 I picked it up at an auction and it had been upgraded to a K3S in 2018 by the factory um, so it, it's a real nice radio a real nice receiver just a hell of a receiver uh, really nice I, I'm I want to see uh, which one's better, the uh, ICOM 7610 or uh, this K3. And I've got a feeling that the K3S is going to top the ICOM 7610. But I could be wrong. They may be so close that you can't tell the difference. And uh, even with the 7300, um, the Elecraft K3 is just a much better transceiver for CW. Just much better. And I, I don't have any roofing filters in it other than the standard uh, uh, 2.7 for sideband. But let's go, uh, okay, that's enough for uh, WSJTX. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close it. And I'm going to bring up AC log. And you can see that we just got uh, those last three that, that uh, I logged on FT8 20 meters and uh, I'll show you a couple of things that I've got set up in AC log that makes it a little bit nicer um, I'm using a call lookup and under call book I've got uh, the ham call internet lookup uh, I've got it selected and uh, it's free uh, if we go over to e-logs, uh, that's not showing up in e-logs, but ham call internet lookup is free, so there's nothing really to set up, and it pulls the names in for me. You can use other ones here. I've used these free ones before when I'm out in the field. I'll use these uh, free ones that save to the computer, so I don't have to uh, uh, use any bandwidth to... Uh, uh, get that information into my log uh, usually uh, when I'm out in the field I'm using cellular data and it's sometimes not all that fast and sometimes I don't have it at all so I, I don't want it 
uh, looking for uh, the names and addresses of people when uh, uh, it's not going to find it. So I, I turn that off uh, when I'm out in the field a lot of the time. The other, the other thing is e-logs. And I use all of these. I use a club log. We'll take a look at that. And that's a real nice one if you haven't, um, you haven't looked at this. Go to club log and uh, set, them in a, set up an account there. And then I've got it marked uh, to enable real-time uploads to it. I'll go ahead and click done. And then the other one is EQSL and the same thing. I've got it, uh, it's, a, it's a free free website. Uh, I've got it enabled to, uh, for real time and that, that's just while I'm at home at my home QTH and got my computer connected to the internet. Click done there. And the only one, uh, let's see, QRZ logbook. I'm not using that anymore. I haven't paid up for this year trying to see if it's really uh, beneficial for me and I, Pretty sure it is. Uh, I should go back and uh, resubscribe and get my subscription going again because a lot of people use it. The other one is LOTW, and I haven't set this up at all. But you can set it up real easy. Uh, just the username, the password, and you don't need that unless you're pulling uh, information from the website. But uh, this will be for another video. Anyway, that makes it real nice, the e-logs uploading to a, a club log uh, is one that I use uh, quite a bit now. And I, I use the, uh, the online logs instead of uh, paper QSL cards. Uh, I still like the paper cards, but I'm not at home an awful lot, so it, it makes it a little bit harder. Okay, well, if you're wondering, wondering about this uh, K3, uh, stay tuned. I'll have more videos on it, and you can see... Uh, uh, how nice it how nice it is it's an older radio but uh, it is really nice it's got a terrific receiver on it and for CW I think it's probably the best uh, the 7610 is going to be real close but for CW man this is a, a superb receiver and I'm going to put in a couple of roofing filters and it, that'll make it even better um, I picked it up pretty cheap it was about the cost of the the ICOM 7300 brand new uh, so and these are you know three thousand dollar radios, four thousand dollar radios, depending on the uh, uh, the upgrades you have in it. This one doesn't have a sub receiver; it's just a simple radio, uh, no sub receiver, but it does have uh, some of the upgrades to make it a K3S, and it was aligned and all done at the factory. So it's a just a superb. Uh, receiver it sure does sound good on CW and then I'll tell you it's it's fantastic and I can pull out some weak signals I've been searching POTA uh, doing some POTA hunting and uh, it has pulled out some of those weak QRP uh, stations and I don't know that I would have been able to get them on the ICOM 7300 so uh, more coming up on the Elecraft K3S and if you're looking for another radio for uh, uh, for the shack, uh, man, I, uh, I haven't had it very long, but I can highly recommend it. I've got a KX2 for the field, and it's a fantastic uh, little radio, uh, really good receiver on it, and uh, it doesn't use much power. Now, this one is a lot lighter than the 7610, so if I was going to take it out in the field, I wouldn't have a problem doing it. Uh, these are used on the expeditions an awful lot. Okay, well that does it. If you find this uh, video uh, helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring that bell. You'll be notified when I put out a new video. So a lot more to come on the Elecaf K3. A lot more to come on the uh, repaired 7610 when I get it back from the shop. And uh, of course more on software. So uh, have a terrific day, 73, and good DX. Thank <laughs> you.